Time to head back to Target Field, where the Twins are preparing to play the Kansas City Royals tonight. Derek and Mike are hanging out in the dugout this afternoon, and I just came back from a shoot. Such a gorgeous day, beautiful blue skies out there, and not too hot, you two. I mean, I don't want to brag, but was it as nice as this? It seems a little hard to beat. The only thing falling from the sky is the occasional cottonwood. And, <laughs> and a baseball or two. <laughs> yeah, so far, so good on both fronts. What's amazing, though, is as someone who has been an amateur lawn care person for over 30 years since I was a kid, when you see this field up close, it's even better than on TV. The fine details yeah, that they do here. Greener than green, and there's a, a real reason for that. It's it's not just luck. It's not just one person. It's a whole team of people here at Target Field. And obviously, you see them during the game a little bit, like when they're dragging the infield at the end of the third or sixth inning. But there's a lot that goes into keeping this field perfect all the time. Yeah, it includes mowing, watering, edging, rolling, and raking, all with painstaking detail. We got a chance to see what they do and how they do it There's when there's rain in the forecast. Before Twins fans fill up the stands, there's a lot of unseen work that's done to make sure Target Field not only looks perfect, but also plays that way. And in charge of all that is Twins head groundskeeper, Larry DeVito. He's with us today to give us a little behind the scenes. Hi, Larry. Hi, thanks for coming down. Of course. Off and on rain the past few days. Has this been a challenge for you guys, or are you used to it? We're used to it. Yeah, it's a little bit of a challenge watching it late in the game yesterday. The game kind of slowed up in the ninth inning, but uh, we got it in. We're actually waiting on a shower now, and you said you were going to cover the field as it's raining. My naive thought would be, oh, no, let's water the grass, but that's not what you want to do. Grass doesn't need water every day. Uh, it's, it's, we water based on the playability and the health of the grass and how soon the game is. So uh, in a situation like this, we don't want the infield to get water. Is there a home field advantage when it comes to keeping the actual grass and dirt a certain way? I think it's, it's the familiarity of it for the players. And what we do is we mow every game day. We try to keep the dirt what, the exact same every game day, whether it's sunny, cloudy, windy, rainy to try and be consistent and our players know what to expect. Whereas the other guys come in and in three days they've got to evaluate and adjust. What can we help out with today? Oh, we're gonna we're gonna need help getting that tarp back on here in, in a little while and put some sandbags on. What's the minimum number of people you want doing this? Oh, I, we can do it with seven. Okay. If it's dry, we can do it with seven. <laughs> as soon as that tarp went down, we started to we feel started rain. To get a little rain, yeah. We could use some help in the weather center from time to time if you want. We'll do like a job share. I'll come out that and put the tarp and sure. come on in. How closely do you look at radar? All the time, you know, and, and from, from, from April to October, uh, you know, sometimes I wake up at night and look at the weather. Right? I'm looking at the weather at least 16 hours a day because not just for rain, but it drives our decisions with how much water to put on the field, what's the evapotranspiration rate, can I spray fertilizer tonight or tomorrow night? You know, just setting up my whole week is based on, on the weather. So. I notice you have the same weather station a lot of our weather watchers have. Yes. I have that one at home, too. What I love about that is the portability of it. Right. So I, I can put it wherever I need to on the field because I don't want to know what the weather is on the top of the building. I want to know what it is here. So that's why we, we move it around and keep it outside. So we're in a rain delay, so we found our way to the dugout. Larry, now you just have to wait a little bit, but what will happen as soon as this rain ends? We'll get the guys all back out. We'll flip the tarp, get the water off it, dry it out. You want to put the tarp away dry. What circumstance does the dopey guy who's helping with the tarp get sucked under it and fall down? <laughs> it, it, happens, it can happen quite easily. I mean, you just lose your footing or, you know, you, you, you start, things get a little fast for you, you know, we're, we're cognizant of that. We will stop and let the person out. <laughs> How nice you of know. you. Yes, it's, it's a safety issue. <laughs> All right, there we go. So we got, we're keeping that air underneath so there's no resistance. We're off to a good start. We're off to a good start here. Almost done. That's a workout. DeVito's crew folds the tarp. Okay. Then we're back in to help roll it up. First half's always the easiest. Oh, it's a wrap. Yeah, because we got to catch our breath. Oh, man. 
It's pretty amazing to see all the work that goes in while you're eating your peanuts or, or going to the restroom maybe while you're watching at home. But what was kind of the most amazing to me, the weather nerd, is like Larry and the three of us were talking and then suddenly he's like, all right, tarp time. And within 10 seconds <laughs> yeah. of that, the raindrops, the first raindrops started to fall. And he was looking at nothing at that time that I was aware of. Yeah, and that is a micro climate forecast. <laughs> yeah, it's very different than what we do. I mean, we're here telling all of our friends the forecast. Larry and his team are really concerned on a couple of blocks in one city. It's amazing. He also asked a great question about what would he think if they ever to, were to put a roof on here? Yeah, and he didn't me. like that idea. It surprised me, but it turns out that the uh, the ability to sort of control how much sunlight is available, even on sunny days, goes down when you've got the extra shadows that that retractable roof even casts. So, super interesting. Really thank uh, Larry and his team for letting us help, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Help. Yeah.